guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do my current beauty favourites, like all my makeup favourites. But then I kind of thought that them videos can be a wee bit boring. So then I just thought I would just do a full face of my makeup favourites. I have some old products, I have some new products, and I also included in this video my go-to glam makeup. If I'm doing a clothing haul, or if I'm doing, if I'm doing a video where I'm not doing my makeup, this is the makeup look I will have on and it is my most requested makeup look even though I've done it so many times before so this is probably going to be the last time hopefully that I will ever have to do this makeup tutorial a makeup tutorial on this look right here this is my go-to glam yeah if you want to know how I got this makeup look and you want to know what I'm loving at the minute just stay tuned is it codely or codley? I don't know. Everybody seems to pronounce it differently, including Google. But I'm just going to use this Cuddly Beauty Elixir, and this is just like a soothing and glowing facial spray. It's technically a skincare product, but this is just a spray that I have repurchased I don't know how many times by now. I absolutely love this wee product. You can use this before makeup application just to rejuvenate the skin and just soothe it and moisturize it. And I also use it at night time before going to bed. I spritz this all over my face after my skincare routine. I just love it. I just love this wee spray. Something I am really, really loving at the minute is this MAC Strobe Cream. This is actually just the original MAC Strobe Cream and obviously, as you can see, it is in the sample size that I must have got free with an order or something. Thank goodness I did because I am 100% going to go onto the website and buy the full size of this because I am absolutely loving this at the minute. Not only does it give your skin just a really, really nice finish, ready for makeup and foundation application, I just love the glow that it gives to the skin. Usually what I find with aluminium primers is that they can be too artificial and they can have too much glitter and too much shimmer in them. So with the MAC Strobe Cream, my skin looks plump, it looks healthy, it just looks really radiant and luminous but not artificial. Because I do have dry skin and I do prefer a matte finish, I just think that it just works really really well with my overall makeup routine. Foundation was a wee bit of a hard one actually because I seem to love a lot of foundations. <laughs> there isn't a foundation out there that I actually really really despise, not that I know of, but one that I am currently loving is the Primark foundation. And yes, apparently it is a jip for the Essay Lauder Double Wear. Do I think it is a jip? I don't know and I don't really care. Um, <laughs> did I even tell you what it is? It's the Primark Double Coverage Matte Foundation, long wear, matte finish and oil free and I am in the shade Nude. So one thing I loved about this foundation was obviously the coverage and the finish. Hi guys, editing Emma, <laughs> just checking in. I just want to quickly say I really really apologise about the colour of that foundation and how it is applying to my skin. Holy shit. I still love the foundation, love it, it's just what I've been noticing recently in my YouTube videos is my foundations have been looking really really yellow. I've been getting comments. I've mentioned it and honestly I don't know what it is, I don't know whether it's my camera settings or it's my actual lighting setup. I have actually rearranged my room and I'm now going to be filming with natural lighting to see if that makes a difference because in person my foundation does not look that colour. So if you have me on Snapchat you'll be keeping up to date with that situation that I will now be filming with natural lighting. So. Yeah, I just wanted to come in and just mention that in case I get any comments about how ridiculous my foundation looks. Well, just the colour. Um, so yeah. As I was saying there, I do have dry to normal skin, but I do prefer a matte finish. I did notice that it didn't dry down straight away. It kind of is like a semi-matte finish, first of all, and then it eventually will dry down and settle. But I just absolutely love the coverage of this foundation. I love the way it applies. I love how it blends out so perfect. How this is a fiber foundation, I will never know. So I just went off camera there and put a t-shirt on, I just felt a wee bit overexposed. <laughs> Stuck between these two, I have been loving it, these two concealers recently, more so this one because it is newer than this, but this is the Morphe concealer in the shade C1.25 and then this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade Alabaster. I actually find these very, very similar in the fact that the coverage is great and the blendability is great and the fact that a little goes a long way. I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer, so I'm just going to do one side so you can actually see the difference and as I was saying you do not need a lot of this stuff so I'm just going to do three wee 
just three wee bloops there. So because I use such a full coverage foundation, I just find that I don't need to apply a lot of concealer to my under eyes. Do not take offence to this if you do it, but you get these people that just do this entire full triangle of concealer. And it's so unnecessary, it's so uncalled for. You should not have a lot of product on your under eyes, especially that amount. You know, you're only out to put a pile of foundation on. There is just, it's a waste of product, it's totally uncalled for, and it's just unnecessary. All you need is a couple of wee bloops. You're getting a nice coverage, and you're also getting the brightness, and you're also concealing those under eye bags, it's coloration, whatever you use concealer for. I personally use concealer just to lighten that area, like as you can see, that's done. And as you can see, I just done three wee bloops. <laughs> I just done three wee dots there, and that is literally all you need. And then I always like to do this wee bit of my chin, and then just down the center of my nose. So that's that concealer there. It's just absolutely beautiful. This also has a matte finish, by the way. Although we're definitely gonna set it. It doesn't make my under eyes look kicky, and it doesn't sell into any fine lines or anything too quickly. I have the MAC Prep and Prime Powder. This is a powder that I have been using recently so often on my channel. Um, I just thought I would give it a bit of a mention, but I'm not going to be using it today. I'm going to be using the Technic Super Fine Translucent Powder. This is a powder I have loved since... <sighs> it's been a while now. What I love about it is the fact that it is such an affordable powder. It sets beautifully. It keeps the brightness within my under eye. It doesn't make me look overly powdery or anything. I'm sure you all know that I have a favourite highlight, but I do have a favourite combination of highlight. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight, and then I have the ColourPop Let's All Set Together Flexitarian. This is just... It's just my baby, really. I... It annoys me the fact that I didn't create this myself, because I think if I ever came out with my own highlight, it would never actually be as good as this. <laughs> it's like a champagne silver, if that makes sense. It is a very, very intense, very, very bright, but it's just absolutely beautiful. But sometimes that can be a wee bit too white on me and it can shift a wee bit more silver. And that's where the Laura Geller Gilded Honey comes in. This on me alone is beautiful, but sometimes, again, it can be a wee bit too dark and then I mix it with this. I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey first of all. So I'm just gonna lie this just down in the skin first of all, just as like my base, and then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Flexitarian just on top of that, and them two will actually come together and it's just, it is the most beautiful highlight intercourse you will witness. It's just a match made in heaven really. They're just absolutely beautiful together. And then just a wee bit on the nose. Then we have Luminoso from Milani. This was actually quite a hard one. I had quite a few blushes to choose from, but if I have a special occasion or I'm doing my makeup for whatever reason, I always seem to gravitate towards Luminoso from Milani. I bought it because of YouTube. It is the most beautiful shade. It is kind of like, as you can see, it's definitely like a coral shade, but it just has the loveliest sheen of it as well. Love it. This is the MEA Makeup Academy Bronzed Bronzer. And this is in the shade Solar 100. I absolutely have fallen in love with this bronzer for the simple fact of the colour of it. It's not too cool and it's not too warm toned. So I kind of find that I can bronze and contour with it. It's kind of like a two in one. It's cool enough to the point where you can have a wee bit of contour, but it's not too warm or too cool that you can actually bronze with it. I just absolutely love the formula of it as well. It doesn't go on patchy. It just goes on really, really nice and just blends out absolutely beautifully. This is probably my go-to eyeshadow palette at the minute and this is the EYN Nudes palette from Beauty Bay. So as you can see, all the shades in it are pretty neutral and that's obviously why I love the palette. There is a few shimmer shades in it. Shimmer, 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 shimmer. And then the rest is matte and then it has a black in it, which I really like. And then it has a really, really dark brown. Absolutely love it. And then you have a few transitional shades as well or lid or crease shades. I cleaned my makeup brushes on Friday. Can you believe it? <laughs> just going to do my usual. Just going to pop this in the crease. Not going to be too precise or anything because 
you don't really need to be whenever it comes to your crease you can get all up in that upper crease the brow bone the lid get the second darkest shade which is this one here because this is a slightly darker shade this time i'm going to be a wee bit more precise with my blending and my hmm i don't know i'm just packing on and blending as i'm going and i'm bringing it round into my outer corner as well and then always like keeping that first brush handy so you can just go back in and blend. I think this is one reason why I do not clean my makeup brushes that much. I hate working with clean makeup brushes because they're just too clean. <laughs> Still taking that same brush. I'm gonna go back into that palette again and I'm gonna take the dark brown shade. I'm just gonna apply that just directly in the crease just like that second shade but I'm going to apply it just a wee bit lower than that second shade that we applied but just in that same shape. I'm just going to wee bit lighter hand it as well because again it is the darkest shade that we're using. If you do find this makeup tutorial boring, which I don't blame you, um, you can always just add like a wee pop of colour, like a wee pop of colour in the inner corner, like a neon pigment or whatever colour you want and then just to drag all along the lower lash line or anything. Talking about colour, how much is my hair washed out? If you've been watching my vlogs, you would know that I have purposely made a wash out. <laughs> hate my hair, I absolutely hated it. Um, I loved it to start off with. Well, that's taken it too far. I didn't love it. I liked it, um, but I was still on the fence. I think I was just trying to convince myself that I did like it whenever I really didn't like it. Hopefully by Friday, it's Monday today, so on Friday I hopefully will have it washed out enough where I can do my roots and tone my hair and officially be a blonde little number again. <laughs> I'm so excited. I absolutely hate it. So I'm just continuing to just take this darkest brown shade and just apply and blend as I'm going just in that crease and out a corner and I'm just going to keep on going back in with that first brush as well just to really make sure that everything is all blended. I just went off camera there and apply some false lashes. So the false lashes that I have been absolutely loving recently and I can't really seem to stop wearing them to be honest. <laughs> but these are the Cleo Beauty lashes in the style Sugar Daddy. I don't know why I'm holding up an empty box but these are them on. I just absolutely love them. I don't really know how to describe lashes and to why I love them so I'm not going to do that. I just really like them and you're just going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> But I'm using a MAC lip liner and this is in the shade Subculture. Recently I just was really bored one Sunday night and I decided to sharpen all of my lip liners and I just stumbled across this Subculture lip liner from MAC and I was like yeah I really must actually use that. I've actually just recently fell in love with it again so it's just the most absolutely perfect nude. Is it that? Hold on, I don't know if it's that one or not. Maybe it's spice I'm talking about. Aha! Uh -huh. It's stripped down. Stripped down. I was just wondering, like, that's really... You can barely even see that. Perfect. It's a really, really dark nude, as you can see. But I like to wear lighter nude liquid lipsticks. So once they all come together, it kind of looks like a wee bit of an ombre moment. This is just a liquid lipstick formula that I always seem to come back to and this is the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked. I am absolutely in love with her liquid lip formula whether it be the matte formula or the velvet formula. Preferably the velvet formula because there is a wee bit of movement on it. Obviously a matte lip it does dry down but I just really really enjoy her formula. How perfect is that nude. I think it's not too dark and it's definitely not too light. It's just, it's just exquisite. This is the Revolution lip gloss. It's just like a lip topper in the shade Luxurious. So, so that's what it looks like there. Look at how sore my nail looks. It's bleeding and everything. <laughs> that's really gross. <laughs> Okay, so I obviously had to change back so I didn't look like such a scruff. 
So guys, this completes this makeup tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. All the products that I used today will be listed down below in the description box, along with my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So don't forget to follow me on those. Thank you so, so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you really want to as well. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching again. And I hope to see you all in my next video.